an all too familiar sight in Ukraine's capital, Kyiv. According to the Ukrainian Air Force, 81 missiles were fired in the early hours of Thursday morning, including six hypersonic missiles which can travel up to 8 kilometers a second. Ukraine said it intercepted 34 cruise missiles but doesn't have the ability to intercept the hypersonic missiles. 40% of Kyiv is now without power. I heard a very loud explosion, very loud. We quickly jumped out of bed and saw one car on fire. Then the other cars caught on fire as well. The glass shattered on the balconies and windows. It's very frightening. The child got scared and jumped out of bed. Rescue services have become accustomed to dealing with the aftermath of airstrikes. I woke up from the explosion, quite a strong one, but I could never imagine that it would happen in my backyard. When I went outside, I realized those cars are in the yard. It is hard to explain how I feel, because one meter left or right, and it could have been my apartment. I have no words left. In the West, four people were killed when missiles hit Zolotivsky. Ukrainians say residential buildings were destroyed in the attack. <laughs> Elsewhere in the east, the battle for Bakhmut is intensifying, with the Russians saying they now control the east of the besieged city. The Ukrainian military, though, still hanging on, for now. The team of the tank has fired from the concealed position at the enemy positions. The target is hit. Boys are good. We've sent our greetings to the uninvited guests that came to our country. Bakhmut is standing. We will win. The attention continues to be in the east where the heaviest fighting is taking place. But Russia has reminded Ukraine with this latest set of attacks it has the ability to strike anywhere. Assad Beg, Al Jazeera.